Good morning, my garden and YouTube friends. I wanted to give you guys a well-deserved update on my Everglades tomatoes. You can see that I have my little packet here, and it was Dan's Food Forest Abundance. He's over in Tampa, and uh, I think I paid uh, I think four or four fifty for my seeds, and uh, they took a long time to germinate, as you guys recall, and. Uh, it, it was a it was a slow go because I was trying to grow them during the summer. They're supposed to be very heat tolerant, but uh, I found that the plants were growing, but um, the blooms were just all falling off of the um, off of my plants. But as you can see, as the weather has cooled down, that I have finally gotten some of the uh, the blooms to go into to berries. But you can see how small they are. They're very tiny. This ends up being, I think there were 24 in here, 25, and it's only an ounce and a half. But I wanted to show you what I have growing. I, I planted them then in the driveway and took them out of the pots and planted them in the driveway. And uh, as you can see that I've got loads and loads of blooms. But I wanted to show you that, well, I have the uh, balsam plant it underneath so it's kind of hard you know you see something red and you go oh is that is that a, a bear is that one of the tomatoes but if you look down in here you can see that yes I do have uh, little clusters of tomatoes and can you see that I want to get that little out of the way there's what three six on that one and this is pretty much how they come is you'll get you know a little six pack make me a liar there's a there's a four pack and um, but they're finally starting to uh, produce loads and loads of green and um, just you know I think that they are going to really be very prolific once they once they get moving you know if you guys want to try this um, you can just look them up Everglades tomatoes they are supposed to be really good in all different climates. Uh, I think for you guys up north, it would grow really well during the summer. And I have friends who are in the in the south, and they say that they're kind of their munching tomatoes. They're the ones that, when they're out in the garden, they can just pick those on the side while they're waiting for the big boys to to produce. You can see I've got ones back there too. More and more. So I think it's going to be one of those things that just keeps growing. I did have, seem to have a lot of, um, trying to see it now because I keep trying to pinch it off, uh, leaf miner, but I, it didn't actually kill the plant. Uh, as I was seeing it, like here, I would just, you know, pinch them if I had to take a whole branch off, well, then I would, you know, go ahead and do that. I can't get it with my nail, but um, just instead of, you know, spraying everything, because I do grow organically, so I really would like to, to keep things as clean as possible. And um, so anyway, that was, that was the update. Um, I grew some basil in between it, and the basil seems, we had a we had a night that it was 48, and boy, that for some reason or other, that 48 really seemed to, to hit. Now, this one looks just fine. And then I have balsam underneath growing in the very front to kind of, it was actually to kind of keep it up. And um, so, as you can see, it seems to be growing quite well. So, um, garden what you've got. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you'll uh, subscribe to my channel if you like what you're seeing. And... Uh, Remember that uh, all tomatoes aren't beefsteaks. So uh, take care, everyone, and I hope to see you back real soon. Bye-bye.